How to use a Trangia camping stove. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. We're going to show you how to use a Trangia camping stove. It's a long time favourite of outdoor adventurers, a simple, compact, and lightweight stove that hasn't changed for over half a century. Step 1 You will need your Trangia stoves, which come in eight pieces a frying pan, a handle, a kettle a burner, a couple of pans, and the windshield that comes in two parts, the base and the top half. The stove can be unpacked and repacked with ease, a bit like a Russian doll. It uses methylated spirits as fuel. This can be carried around in a bottle and is less bulky than a gas canister. You'll also need some matches to light the meths inside the stove. Step 2. Safety precautions. Do not use stoves inside tents or confined spaces. The carbon monoxide fumes produced by camping stoves are harmful and tents are highly flammable. Step 3. Unpack the stove. Take the compacted stove apart piece by piece and lay it out on the grass. Remember how each piece fits together to make it easier when you pack it up again. Step 4. Windshield. The Trangia is fully stormproof, meaning that it won't go out in windy conditions. The windshield comes in two pieces. Place the bottom part of the windshield on the ground somewhere firm and flat. It has ventilation holes in the sides and a middle hole where the burner sits. Step 5. The burner. The burner unit holds methylated spirits. This one has an adjustable lid so you can tailor the heat level. Take the lid off the brass burner unit and pour in some methylated spirits. Put the lid back on the methylated spirits immediately and put out of harm's way. Now carefully place the burner in the centre of the windshield. Put the second windshield in place. Step 6. Light. Light a match and drop it into the burner. As it's methylated spirits you won't be able to see the flames. When you can feel heat you'll know that it's lit. Warning. Never touch the hot metal of the burner while cooking. Step 7. Pan. Use the handle to place the pan on the metal supports inside the windshield. Step 8. Frying pan. If you want to use the frying pan, use the detachable handle to lift the hooks and then sit the frying pan over the heat. Use this detachable handle to lift the pan off the windshield. Step 9. Cook. You can now use the stove to boil water or heat food in the pan or frying pan. Step 10. Flame adjuster. If you think the flame is burning too high, use the adjustable burner top to control it. Always use the handle attachment when putting this in place. Step 11. More safety tips. Never leave the stove unattended while it's burning. Do not leave it on for longer than is necessary and under no circumstances should you use a stove to provide heat. The gas will eventually burn away and although there may not be enough to ignite a flame, it will produce dangerous fumes that can fill a tent. To turn the stove off once you finish cooking, put the closed burner top in place. The lack of oxygen will cause the methylated spirits to stop burning after just a few seconds. Remove the burner top to make sure the fire has extinguished. Leave the trangia to cool before packing it away. Done. It always tastes better outdoors.